Welcome to this tutorial on how to use or optimize your iTools software. This iTools is a software just like iTunes, but I think iTools is more effective and really user friendly. If you have downloaded your iTool, just go and open it. As you see, this is my iPhone. On this menus, we have device, application, music, photos, videos, books, information, and toolbox. Let's go to the first menu, device. On this device, we have device info and fast optimization. We can scan at once to scan our iPhone from cages, temporary files, which is application cage, rarely use application. Because I had the uh, scan my iPhone, so there's nothing appear on here. But it is uh, usually so something that we got something here. I was thinking it, it's not there anymore. Sometimes there is a lot of cases which is took many memory over here. We can optimize it and all the memory is optimized. And now Let's go to application. This menu shows us all the application which are installed already or not. These are application on my Apple account. So when you want to install this application that I had uh downloaded from Apple Store just install it just like this if install a button is appear it means the application is not already on our iPhone let's go to music uh, on this menu, it's really interesting because it's really easy to add some music from our PC. Let's add this uh, song. Or you see here, it's already here. For photos, we can see there is albums you can import some picture. You can do drop down picture and select some picture directly in our folder just like this just drop down a 
button with the letter. If you want to, if you want to export, you can select this one. Maybe this only this album. You can export it and uh, save it on our folder. But I don't want to do that right now. Videos. You can add videos. Yes. Uh, you can do drop down. I think drop down is more easier. Books, you can add your books from your PC's data, PDF, maybe we'll try to add some data here. there information it's just like ordinary information we, we have message calendar the parts notes everything is here message All our music of my music, this calendar, and so on. Notes. Let's go to toolbox. We can make ringtone and this uh, menu that we make the ringtone maker. We can uh, use to uh, make some ringtone one or more. We can choose from defines or from local music. I will try from the files ok it's really easy to make new tone for our iPhone Give me a reason just to live a set a star just give me a reason just a little bit's enough just a second we're not broken This is our ringtone. We can save and import to device if we want to save it or directly on our iPhone or we can save to work home. But I prefer this. Save and import to device. We have a new uh, ringtone. Data migrate is to migrate our data from our recent iPhone to another iDevice. If we connect uh, Another ID device, it will be shown here. Yes, next, next, next. So the data will migrate from this iPhone to another device. Super Restore, just restoring by Explorer to Explore, item backup to backup, item active photo. Fast automation battery, uh, master, real time desktop. I think the most interesting is real time desktop because. We can uh, see the real-time uh, activity from our iPhone. It's like this. This option is really help 
me to make some tutorial uh, from my iPhone for just to make tutorial or some application or games or anything. Desktop management is to manage uh, our application. We can do it or move it around just like that. If you want to synchronize, yes, yes, but if you know, yes, no. Advanced feature SHH channel will handle press move from the downloader plus user. I think the most important. The most interesting is firmware downloader. Uh, on this firmware download, you can uh, download the recent iOS that suggested from this uh, menu. We can choose uh, our i device. My device is iPhone 5, and the model is A1426. Just look the, the back from uh, our iPhone. And this is the version, the version that the most recent. We can download it and we can upgrade our iOS.